on all these series that we are blessed to be having on TV at the moment. Um, and the one I finished yesterday, it was actually The Ring of Power. I keep calling it Power of the Ring. Um, I don't know why. The Ring of Power sounds a lot better than Power of the Ring. Power of the Ring sounds like some sort of Marvel or DC flick. I don't know what, what I'm talking about, actually. But um, in terms of the actual series, me and my partner, we watched it. Um, I thought about doing like a massive video with my usual edits and stuff, but I think it's just easier for me to do it like this. Um, I mean, I've just started a new job and a little bit busy with other things, but I still want to give, I still want to do content. And whether that's in shorts or full length videos or my tech reviews and stuff, I think it doesn't matter, right? So I think the idea for the the best thing for me to do now is just to just upload videos when I can, really. Um, so yeah, let's rewinding it back to the review um this series is really good i i understand where um people who really are massive fans of token and um of the law will find it hard to watch because they've had to make changes they haven't had they haven't got the rights really to to, to do it the way they probably initially wanted to do it in terms of um that the way they brought the wizard in who we all kind of know, I think, is Gandalf, unless that's a massive throw. Um, spoilers, anyway, yeah, for people who haven't watched it. But, yeah, in terms of Halbrand and, and Sauron and the way they've had to kind of work the literature, um, Sauron hanging with the elves, but they've done that, but in a roundabout way. Um, Gandalf essentially should be coming on a boat, right, with, with everyone. And, yeah, I mean, if you read the appendices, if you read... Um, all the other accompanying books with Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit it's going to be hard probably for you to watch because when you read something first in your head you have you have an idea of how it should go right same with Harry Potter right so Harry Potter the way I like lo I love the movies don't get me wrong but in terms I read the books first and in my head the way I imagined the characters the way I imagined Dumbledore was totally different and but you have to understand that's a director's adaptation of a series and the same with this right this is a director writers a full team's adaptation of a series and the way they've done it of course if you you have to separate the cinematography because that's that's world class and they've had 500 million to play with um don't quote me on that but they have had a lot of money to play with to make it to that level but for me to see all these things in middle earth and yeah it's just beautiful to watch right like on my TV as well, on the OLED, it pops. It pops massively. And I've enjoyed it thoroughly in terms of a spectacle. Yes, of course, some of the writing is a bit... There are holes here and there, but I think it's brilliant, right? Um, and I know we've had House of Dragon and another brilliant fa series based on fantasy slash medieval times, fan fantasy medieval times, science fiction, all this sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, based on... Based on a similar concept in, in in some respect, but obviously a lot more a lot more adult, right? But um, the Ring of Power, the way they've done it, I really enjoyed. I enjoyed some of the characters as well that they've that they've used to basically replace the original actors we've known. Um, some of the actors have actually really taken hold of those characters. Um, Elrond, what we think is Gandalf. Um, yeah, and the Harfords, the Harfords, the Harfords are amazing, right? And it really shows you <clears throat> why Gandalf bonded with the Hobbits. You know, that, I suppose that's a good, if he is Gandalf, that is a good direction in a sense and a good connection to why he 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 is so fond of them, why he believes in their in their in their nature, um, their perseverance, and everything. Really, even what the Hobbits don't really believe in themselves, as we know from the books and the movies, Bilbo and um Bilbo and Frodo they never really had that belief in themselves they were always scared to go on adventures but these but the Harfoots and the Hobbits what 200 years later I think that's the timeline I mean I'm even still a bit confused with the timeline because I understand how the different um all different ages are and stuff but of course it doesn't correspond to the book so I'm still modeled in that but there's so there's so many like YouTube videos explaining all of this, but I don't want to go into detail either because even I have to understand and get my head around the detail. But in terms of um, a geek watching a movie or a geek watching a series, this is this is insane. 
I never thought when I was younger that I would, even after Lord of the Rings, I never thought that something could look better than Lord of the Rings in some aspects because the cinematography is so good and it brings you into that world so well. It's sad, it's only eight episodes and we have to wait two years now for the next season. Um, if you haven't seen it, give it a chance. I know it's been bombed on um, Rotten Tomatoes and stuff, but I think, of course, it's like Star Wars fans, right? Star Wars fans, Lord of Rings fans, any fans of any huge franchise will, will always hold these franchises to their heart and they will always want it done the exact way it's been written. But if you're if you're someone who can sort of detach a little bit from the books and just watch it for what it is and understand its adaptation, you'll really enjoy it. I highly recommend it. I mean, I can't wait for Narco to to be a good age to watch Lord of the Rings again because I generally watch those movies every year. Um, yeah, d definitely give it a watch. What would I give it out of 10? Hmm. The first episode was slow, but I feel like at the end, the last few episodes really took off. Um, and the last episode was amazing. Oof. I'd probably give it eight, eight and a half. Um, for me, rec the best series re most recently is definitely still Mandalorian. Um, in terms of what I've seen on TV, that that is close to a ten for me. So this doesn't quite reach that level, but yeah, an eight and a half. I think that's I think that's fair. Um, yeah, I think eight and a half is fair. So yeah, definitely give it a watch. Um, I'm gonna do a review later on She Hulk as well. I just finished that yesterday and that blew my mind. Not not everyone though. I mean, a lot of people I've spoken to really don't understand, but yeah, but we'll talk about that later. House of Dragon, I'm gonna wait for that to finish before I review that as well. Um and I need to watch Andor because everyone is telling me to watch that. So yeah, anyway, peace. Um usually I have Coco in these videos, but she's asleep. Bless her. Um so yeah, catch you guys later.